Now, this is part two of my nitrosorb uh, review and nitrate uh, testing. Uh, the good news is I figured out why, if you watched my prior video on the nitrosorb review, uh, why my nitrates were sky high. It turns out that my hot, uh, magnum hot hang on the back filter hadn't been changed in four months. And when I went and cleaned it, that's uh, this item right here. Uh, when I went and cleaned it, it was just uh, full of junk. I mean, it was almost like mud. And the media inside it was uh, just uh, permeated with, uh, with uh, quasi-mud also. So clearly the canister, the hang-on-back canister filter was exporting nitrate into the tank. So I cleaned up the filter, uh, the filter pad, I removed the media because uh, I didn't really don't really need the media since it had a bio wheel. It's uh, kind of redundant and excessive. So I took that out. Uh, the bad news is when I went to turn it back on, it's, it, it produced a rattle. So I think I'm going to leave it off permanently and just stick with the penguin bio wheel that I have back over here. So I cleaned out that media uh, pad also um, and uh, decided that uh, I probably need to clean it more often. So maybe like once a week I should clean out the filter pad uh, and keep it nice and clean, which is pretty easy to do because it's easy to access. That's not the case with the hang on back canister. Uh, the other reason why I decided to turn that off. I may get a second uh, a bio wheel just because it's so easy to clean the filter pad. Uh, but I'm not ready to do that yet. So we'll see. I did do a test, a water test after doing a 50% water change. And as you can see, hopefully you can see, it's not as red as it was. It's uh, uh, like an orangish red. So I'd say it's probably not 20 and it's probably more like 30. So I'm going to use 30 as the reference there. And uh, I recharge the nitrous orb, and I'm going to put it back in. But when I put it back in this time, I'm going to see what I can do to get it to not all uh, sink to the bottom of the of the filter bag, because uh, I think that inhibits the water flow uh, through the media, through the nitrous orb media. And we'll see what I get it do to uh, space it out. So I'll take a break here while I get that ready. All right, here is the uh, nitrous orb. It's been soaking in the uh, salt water mix for, I think it's about a week now since I did the first video. So it says to take it out and rinse it, and then uh, I'll mount, I'm going to try to mount it on the filter pad uh, for the, in the uh, Penguin uh, 200 and see if that will help reduce the uh, sinking of the media to the bottom of the, of the media bag. All right, so here's the, here's the, the uh, BioWheel filter pad. Oops, drink a little bit of water there. And I've taped or used rubber bands to hold the media bag against it. Hopefully that will help prevent the media from from uh, sinking to the bottom of the bag. Now I'm going to put it in the in the tank. All right. So here's the media bag, and it's hopefully going to not all sink to the bottom. So we'll see how that does. And put the top back on. And we'll, I'll check it uh, every day to see if the nitrous orb is reducing the level from 30 down to something lower. And uh, depending on how it does, uh, I may not report back every day, uh, but I'll certainly report back in five days if it hasn't, uh, or if it has done something or whatever it's done, I'll report back in five days and sooner if uh, it shows some improvement in that time. All right, it's been five days, so here are the results.
it's uh, doesn't look like it really changed much. It's not orange. It's an orangey red, which was what it was last time. I mean, given the relative accuracy of the color comparisons, you might even say it matches the. Well, it doesn't quite match the 40. Definitely doesn't match the uh, 20. It's much uh, redder than that, but it's. So it's, I'd say, 30 to 40, which would be equivalent to five days' worth of maybe nitrate uh, generation by the fish and the feeding and stuff. So let's see. So what's next? Um, what's next, I think, to see if I can, through, uh, well, now that I've identified the problems with the filters uh, being dirty, producing a lot of nitrates, and have cleaned both those up, or I got the one left with the uh, nitrosorb in it. I'm going to add a second one, uh, uh, not a canister, so I can change the filter pad more frequently. And uh, we'll do some water changes and see if I can get uh, maybe, without the nitrosorb, getting down to maybe the, the 10 level and then try the nitrosorb again after recharging it see if it makes a difference from 10 down to say 5 or whatever. I did test my water, uh, so the problem is not the water. Uh, my water is not zero, uh, but it's about one part per million uh, nitrate. So the water changes are really not contributing anything significant. Uh, so if I could get it down to like 2 or in between 0 and 5, I would be happy. Uh, but doesn't so far it looks like the nitrosorb is not really doing much. At least not enough to be uh, noticeable. Hope that helps. Uh, once again, uh, any suggestions? If you had similar poor results or better results, and maybe I'm doing something wrong, we'll see. I mean, the other advantage is that the uh, the other filter over here, which I think is a Penguin 350, uh, does have a compartment for holding media, so that wouldn't all uh, flow to the bottom of the media bag. So uh, we'll give that a try it once I've got the overall level down to something a little more reasonable. Hope that helps.